Hello and welcome to your math course or courses. This is Professor O'Neill and I'm going to give you a preview of what you're going to see, what you need to do, how to be successful in your course or courses. So what I'm opened here to now is the D2L page. And what I'm going to do for demonstration purposes is I'm going to go through the P001 course. Once the class starts, you want to go into your D2L class and you're going to want to go to the content tab. And here you're going to have several items that you need to review. First of all, the syllabus, which is in both Word and PDF format. You need to know everything in the syllabus. Preferably, you need to know that you're only required to purchase a MyLab Math access code. You're not required to purchase a textbook, but you can if you want to. And the other thing in the syllabus that's really super important is make sure you review the part where you're required to submit scratch work for your exams. So once you've reviewed the syllabus, if you haven't done so already, you need to review the MyLab Math registration document and follow the steps in there to register for your MyLab Math course. Because MyLab Math is where all of the homeworks, quizzes, and exams are going to be administered. I have practice tests for both the midterm and the final exam. And so that pretty much covers what is available in D2L. Notice that I didn't mention any assignments in D2L. All of the assignments are administered in MyLab Math. So going to your MyLab Math course, going through the P001 course, just for reference, once you've signed up and registered for the course, if you go into the course, you're going to see on the left there are some tabs to choose from. The one that you're probably going to spend the most time going to is the Assignments tab. And here you're going to see all of your assignments for the entire semester with the due dates listed on the left and the time limits and the number of attempts listed on the right here. Now the homeworks are in blue with the little blue dot and they list the sections that each homework assignment covers. Notice that each quiz covers the previous homework assignment. And also notice the quizzes have a little green flag. That means that in order to take the quiz, you have to complete the previous homework assignment to at least 70% in order to unlock the quiz. And the quizzes are timed. And notice you do have three attempts per quiz. And if you take all three attempts, I will take the highest grade of those three attempts. Okay, notice the homeworks have no time limit and no number of attempts. That is because the homeworks are set to where if you just keep working the problems until you get them right, you can eventually get 100% on any homework assignment. The midterm and final exam is not showing up because it's set to open on the first day of class. So after the first day of class, at the very top of this list, you'll see midterm and final exam. The assignment grades, this is where you go to review a quiz or an exam after you've completed it. And you can go through and see what questions you missed and maybe figure out why you missed them. And then you hopefully don't make those same mistakes on your second and third attempts. The official gradebook is on D2L. There is access to the e-text here as well. If you click the e-text link, you can go and review the e-text. I would highly recommend that you use the materials that I provide on my YouTube channel. So for example, if we go into homework number one, if you mouse over question number one, it's going to tell you what section it comes from. So that's question number one is going to come from section 1.6. So on my YouTube channel, Again, if you go to YouTube and you search for One Punch Math, that's my YouTube channel, and go directly to Playlists, if you scroll down, eventually somewhere you're going to find a Homework Number 1 playlist. And you're going to see that I have a very short video that shows how to work each question in the Homework Number 1 assignment. Now, there's also a Lessons playlist 
and if I click view the full playlist, you're going to see that I have a video for every section covered in the course, covering each section thoroughly. So if you want to watch the lesson videos first to get an overview of the lesson and then go to your homework assignment, let's say you click on question number one, what that's going to do, that's going to open up a pop-up window and here's the problem and then over here is where you answer the question. And if you know how to solve this, you can go ahead and solve this and then click here and type in the solutions. Now, if you miss that, let's say you input an answer of one and you click check answer, it's going to say blah, 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 you missed it. It's going to give you another attempt and then f a final check. So you're going to get three chances at this one problem. And if you miss it, you're going to close this and then you're going to be able to click similar question. So do you see you can keep working this problem over and over and over until you finally get it right. I would recommend if you miss it the first time that you minimize that, go to my YouTube channel to the homework number one playlist and watch the video that shows how to work that particular problem and maybe even take notes, you know, so that you have notes on that and then go back and try the question again. Plus in the homework assignments, there are also question helps that you can actually have my lab math help you solve this, or you can view an example here. And that's how you do your homework assignments. And then you go back. If we close this, you go back and once you complete homework number one, then you go and you do quiz number one. And then if you don't make a hundred, you can go, remember I said you can go to the grade book, review the quiz, figure out which one you missed, and then maybe go back to the playlist, find the associated video and watch, maybe watch the video again. I have a review playlist. And in this playlist, you're going to have the midterm exam review videos and the final exam review so with all these resources, you ought to be able to get through your assignments and your quizzes and your exams and hopefully have a very successful semester. And so that's going to do it for this video as far as showing you what resources are available and how to get you through your assignments successfully. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below or you can text me. And thanks for watching.